Regular captions are boring. I mean, you see the exact same thing on every video. Tiny white text with a black background over and over and over again. Most of them aren't even readable. So, one of the best ways to stand out with online video is to create branded, stylized captions that grab the viewer's attention immediately. You can go from boring, everyday captions to custom captions that are tailor-made for your brand. I'm gonna show you how. Stay tuned, this is gonna be quick. Hey, welcome to Quick, where we are experts in video captions. I'm Owen Video, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to stylize and customize your captions to match your brand colors and your brand imagery. You've probably noticed that almost every online video has the exact same style of the captions. It's the same font across the board. It's usually way too small, no personality, no fun, and that means no viewers. But is your brand the same as every business on the web? Of course not, your brand is unique, and one of the best ways to show off your visual branding is with stylized captions. How cool would it be to have captions that match your fonts, your colors, and your style? Everything your brand is, right? Right there in your captions. Stylizing and customizing your captions can be very, very expensive and extremely time consuming. In most cases, you're gonna need an editor and you're gonna have to pay that editor more time to add the custom fonts, to add the custom colors, and similarly, you're going to have to pay for the captions themselves. You have to first get the SRT file once you, and you have to pay for that. And then once you get the SRT file, you have to give it to your editor and then you got to pay your editor to spend all that time. No, this is garbage. You're going to waste all of your money. Any profit you would have made on that video is just out the door unless you use quick. So let me show you how to stylize and customize your captions from one easy to use interface, but make sure you stick around to the end because I've got this awesome three-step recipe for helping you to brand your captions even further. All right, the first thing you need to do for your custom captions is go to quick.io. Now, once you get here, you'll set up your free account and then you need to upload your final video. And it's important that you upload your final video so that your captions match the video directly. Now, once you've logged in, it'll bring you to this homepage here and this is where you'll upload the video that needs to be captioned. You can drag the video you want into the box or click the blue button to browse your files and choose the right video. If you're gonna make changes to your video after all this, you'll have to make changes to your transcripts and your captions. Now, you can do that for free inside the Quick software, but it will take you more time. So just make sure that you're done with the video, you've watched it, and it's the final edit that you wanna use in the final product. Once you do that, you'll be taken to the video page, and here you can see all the videos you uploaded. It shows what's currently being captioned, what's all finished, and what's ready for you to edit. Go to the video that you wanna edit now by clicking the blue ready to edit button. And here's your video. On the right, you can see your captions and it's here that you can fix any grammar issues or tweak any little mistakes. Just type right in there. You can also click the three lines at the top and you can see your full transcript and then copy and paste it from there if you need to. You can use it in a blog post or you can use it anywhere else you might need to use it in the video description box. You can also adjust the timing of your captions and when they appear, shortening or lengthening how long they appear by dragging the blue bullet points here. So you can drag this bullet on the left to adjust what time in your video you want the caption to start so this line of caption starts at right about three seconds into the video. Then you can play with the bullet on the right and adjust how long the lines of caption shows on the video. Now you can adjust and play with these all you want, but the software is gonna do a pretty decent job. In fact, there's a lot you can do here so that your captions play exactly how you want them. My suggestion, however, is to let the software do its thing because you don't wanna mess anything up or tie anything into knots. Okay, let's go back to the editor. Now, there's also a reset button here at the top if you're not feeling the changes you've made and you wanna start over, that's totally okay. On the left-hand side is a preview of how your video looks. Super helpful to make sure your timing and your captions match up. So 
They've got a little video player here that you can test it all out in real time. This is very, very helpful. You can actually see the changes taking place as you make them. So now that you've got your captions timed out all properly and accurate, it's time to get down to editing the style. Okay, so down here on the bottom left, if you click that teal button with the letter A, it'll bring you to where you can edit the style, the color, the font, the size, the shape, all of the editing features are right here and this is where it gets totally fun. Down at the bottom, there are some great presets and they have a ton for you to choose from with different styles, fonts, and backgrounds. You can even do transparent backgrounds, a solid background. You can use a handwritten font with a white background, outline fonts. There's all kind of options that you can use for something quick, but you can really dig in and get something really unique. You can even start with one of these templates and then customize it from there to get you the, the look and the feel that you, you really want. Now, if you wanna do something totally custom, Quick has you covered. At the top left side, you can change the font, something closer to your own branding. Now, these are a set of preset fonts, but they're really close to what you're gonna have in Microsoft or Adobe. So look for the font that your brand actually uses. And if you don't see it here, you can look for something that's very close. You can also leave a comment below this video and tell us which font you want us to upload. We'll do our best to find your company's branded font and add it to the software as soon as we can. Next, you can adjust the size of your fonts. You can type in the size of the font that you want. Like, let's say you want your captions a lot bigger, so you try 40. Okay, maybe that's a little too big, so you now type in 30. You can play with this all you want so that it's sized properly for your video. Notice how when you change the size of your text, it also will affect whether the captions appear on one line or two lines. Something you might wanna be conscious of, not that it makes a huge difference. At the end of the day, you want your viewers to be able to read this. Now, let's move on and change the color of our text. So click on the little box on the right and select your company's signature color. You could go from white to blue or red or even hot pink. How cool is that? You can even type in your company's hexadecimal code to match your branding right off the bat. You can make the font color the size of your brand or you can make the font color white or black and make the background color the color of your brand. There's tons that you could do here. Now below that, you can play with the positioning of your captions. Now, if you like them better at the top of your video, boom, just click top captions. You can also change the alignment from center to left or right. You can put them exactly where you want them to appear. Now, this tool is really critical if you're using lower thirds because oftentimes video captions are slapped right on top of a video's lower thirds. For example, we've got a lower third appearing right here and I could easily just delete the captions for that portion of the video so that there's no overlay, or you can just let the captions run knowing that there'll be a little bit of an overlay here. Keep in mind that if you move the captions to the top, they'll be on the top for the whole video. So you can't just move them to the top for the section where the lower third's playing. They'd be on top the whole time, which is fine if that's how you want them to appear in your video. Further down here, you can play with the size of your background if you want one. What this area does here is it adds a box behind your text, but it can also add a, a background or a stroke on your text. And you can make this stroke as thick or as thin as you want it to be. Maybe you wanna keep your text neutral with like a white, but then you wanna pop a color behind it. There's your red. Or maybe you wanna do that the other way around. You could use your branding color as the text, then add a neutral color into the background or vice versa. Now, I recommend that you experiment with all the tools on this page until you find the right combination of style that matches your brand, but that also matches the type of video that you wanna make. Now, once you've got your captions perfectly aligned with your brand, it's time for the final step. So go ahead and click the little pencil button on the bottom left to go back to your transcript page. Double check that everything looks good. And when you're satisfied with your captions, click the finalize video on the left side below the video player. And that's it. 
you're done. Your video is all captioned and the captions are burned onto the video file. So you can upload that video to Facebook and they'll have the customized captions. You can also upload that video to Instagram or LinkedIn and the viewer will see the same stylized captions. Okay, now it's time for that bonus. At the beginning of the video, I told you I was gonna show you a quick formula for your captions and to match your visual branding. So here's the recipe for branding your captions quickly. Step one, create your video, but export that video in a square video format. Step number two, add a branded color bar on top of your video inside your video editor before exporting the video. Step number three, choose your branded font in quick and then use the white or the black color so that it's placed on top of your branded color bar inside that video. This will make editing your captions in a branded style so much easier and faster. Plus, square video formats are really very popular on Instagram and LinkedIn. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to stylize your captions to match your brand look. And if you wanna learn even more about how to make your captions look great and how to make Gary V style videos and different types of videos, then continue the journey by clicking on this video here. It'll take you to a playlist of all sorts of great hacks for video captions and making your captions look great. I'm Owen Video, and I'll see you in the next video.